A local community in mourning after the Mideast violence hits home, taking the life of a young Israeli soldier from Woodland Hills. Good evening, I'm Serene Branson. And I'm Juan Fernandez. Today was the deadliest day in the two-week-old conflict in Gaza. 13 Israeli soldiers and 90 Palestinians were killed. The UN Security Council just finished an emergency session urging an immediate end to the violence. Tomorrow, Secretary of State John Kerry heads to Egypt to help broker a ceasefire. Two of the Israeli soldiers killed were Americans. One was a 21-year-old from Texas, the other a 24-year-old from Woodland Hills. CBS 2's Brittany Hopper is live in West Hills where friends and family are remembering Max Steinberg. Brittany? And the memorial started around 9 o'clock. A few hundred people were out here. And as you can see behind me, there are still some friends and candles out here to remember Max Steinberg. He's my role model. Jake Steinberg says his brother Max was a free spirit who would light up a room and wanted to be an Israeli soldier. 24-year-old Max Steinberg from Woodland Hills was one of 13 Israeli soldiers killed. His family got word early Sunday morning. Max made a decision and we supported him. That's what he wanted to do. Family and friends gathered at Lazy J Park in West Hills Sunday night to pray for Max and his family. Max graduated from El Camino Real High School in 2008, then went on to Pierce College. He joined the Israeli army two years ago. His family says he went to Israel on a birthright trip, and that's when he knew he wanted to become an Israeli soldier. He knew the risks. We knew that he knew the risks, and uh, you know that's what families do. They support, you know, their children, their brothers, uh, and and uh, yeah, we we were definitely scared, but it was worth it to him, so it was worth it to us. Now his family will be traveling to Israel first thing in the morning, where Max will be buried. We are live tonight in West Hills. Brittany Hopper, CBS 2 News.